today I want to show you how to manage an offer for loan. So first of all, this player, Holman, I bought it the same season, so I'm not able to sell him. However, I put him on loan because in this case, first of all, I don't need him. So someone else can pay this part of the salary. And second, I have guaranteed they will be sold as soon as the season finish, re releasing one of my slots. Remember, you cannot have more than 50 players in your roster. Okay, so in this case, we need to negotiate. Now, I offer the one-year loan, <clears throat> I would accept. If they offer you a two-year loan, then you counter with one year. If they repeat a two-year loan, you counter a short-term loan, and totally, logically, they will always accept. Okay, don't get your player stuck two years in a loan because it's blocking an important slot in your roster. I accept. Then they offer you always a wage split. Always bring it down 5-10%. They will accept again. Okay, and then they will offer a transfer sum. And you can always add 8-10% to that they will accept. So that's 10%. And he accepted. Now, if you have a, 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 a young player with potential, you still want to loan him out so that he makes experience. However, sometimes they may ask you loan to buy. So you still accept, you give him a loan, and when the season is about to finish, you recall him from loan, so you don't lose it. So at the end of the season, don't forget to check your loan players, which one are uh, with the option to buy. You cannot see from the player profile. You need to go into the transfer hub and uh, into the received offer, and you will see exactly a player like Volman with a little clock on the left. That is when they are negotiating the final transfer. So you just, before is there, you need to recall it. Once uh, you see with the clock, you cannot recall him back. Okay, so these are small things that you need to remember. Thank you for watching.